In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Groot Brushes Cloud Effects brushes. And in about a minute, I will show you how I use them in Photoshop to make clouds like these. I'm using them in the Groot Brushes plugin panel for Photoshop CC, which you can download for free at grootbrushes.com slash plugin. But you can just as easily use them in the Tool Presets panel. Included in your download is a PDF guide with thumbnail preview brush strokes of every single cloud brush, including the 10 eraser brushes. I always start my cloud paintings with a new layer. Then I begin by roughing in a shape with a soft brush like Heft or Billaway. Then I begin to bulk up the cloud with brushes like Cotton or Lumens. As I go, I'm constantly erasing bits of the clouds with the cloudless eraser brushes, which are numbered from 0 to 90, 0 being the softest and 90 being the sharpest, with the most detail. When I'm happy with the general shape, I will switch to a more detailed brush like Lacy or Nettles to add texture to the edges of the clouds. You can also easily turn any cloud brush into an eraser brush by switching the drawing mode from normal to clear. Now let's put this technique into practice on a photograph. I'm going to use this picture of Venice to add some clouds to the sky. As always, I start by adding a fresh new layer. This not only gives me complete control over my clouds, but it also lets me add, remove, and tone down clouds as I need to by increasing or decreasing the opacity of the layer. Also, keep in mind that if you want to use the eraser brushes, they will not work on a background layer. By holding down the Alt key and left clicking, I selected the color from the existing sky. It's a good practice to use your ongoing painting as your palette and keep Alt clicking to pick your colors. This keeps your clouds looking as natural as possible and integrates them well with the existing photo. The key to getting natural looking clouds is to use a light touch with the stylus. Don't push too hard. By using multiple layers, you can constantly build up your clouds and keep adding to them. Where they overlap, they will naturally build nice organic looking textures. If something doesn't look quite right, erase, undo, and start again. You can also use the cloud brushes to naturally paint back in sky. Pick a color from the sky, pick a brush, and paint away, creating natural looking holes. You can always clean up the edges with another cloud brush. If your clouds start looking too fake, reduce the opacity of the layer, add a new layer, and keep going. Of course, there's no reason why your clouds have to be realistic. It's your painting and your clouds. If you want to go over the top, go right ahead. 